On the basis of Raoult's law, the liquid solutions can be classified into ideal and non-ideal solutions. Let us first discuss the ideal solutions. A solution that obeys Raoult's law over the entire range of concentration is said to be an ideal solution. For an ideal solution, the enthalpy of mixing and the volume of mixing of the pure components are zero. This implies that no heat is evolved or absorbed and also there is no change in volume on mixing of the two components. For example, if 50 ml of hexane is mixed with 50 ml of heptane, the volume of the solution obtained is exactly 100 ml and no heat is evolved or absorbed in the process. At the molecular level, the ideal behavior can be explained in terms of the intermolecular attractive interactions between the two components. If A and B are two components, then, in an ideal solution, the magnitude of AB interactions will be same as the magnitude of AA and BB interactions. However, in real life, there is actually no such thing as an ideal mixture, but some liquid mixtures get fairly close to being ideal. These are mixtures of two very closely similar substances. Some common examples of mixtures that show nearly ideal behavior are hexane and heptane, benzene and methyl benzene, chloroethane and bromoethane. Since ideal solutions obey Raoult's law, they show the graphical behavior as shown here. Let us now discuss non-ideal solutions. Solutions that do not obey Raoult's law over the entire range of concentration are said to be non-ideal solutions. Non-ideal mixtures produce curves rather than straight lines as shown here. The dotted straight lines represent the ideal behavior and the curved lines represent the deviations from the ideal behavior. The reasons for the deviation are the intermolecular interactions at the molecular level. For a non-ideal solution, the magnitude of AB interactions is not same as the magnitude of AA and BB interactions. Also, delta H mixing is not equal to zero and delta V mixing is not equal to zero for such solutions. If the magnitude of AB interactions is weaker than the magnitude of AA or BB interactions, then this implies that such solutions have a higher tendency to escape in the vapor phase and will show a higher vapor pressure. Such solutions are said to exhibit positive deviation from Raoult's law. The total vapor pressure of such a solution is greater than the vapor pressure corresponding to the ideal solution of the same composition. For example, a mixture of ethanol and cyclohexane shows positive deviations from the Raoult's law. Ethanol exists in highly associated form due to hydrogen bonding. On addition of cyclohexane, its molecules get in between and there is a considerable reduction in ethanol-ethanol hydrogen bonding. As a result, it becomes easier for the ethanol molecules to escape into the vapor phase and thus, we see the positive deviations from the Raoult's law. For a positive deviation, Delta H mixing is greater than zero and Delta V mixing is also greater than zero. Methyl alcohol and water, carbon tetrachloride and chloroform 
are some other solutions that exhibit positive deviation from the Raoult's law. On the other hand, if the magnitude of AB interactions is greater than the magnitude of AA or BB interactions, the escaping tendency of A and B type of molecules decreases and the partial vapor pressure of each component decreases. This in turn results in the decrease of the total vapor pressure of the solution. Such type of solutions are said to show negative deviations from the Raoult's law. As you can see here, formation of a H bond takes place between the chloroform and the acetone molecule. This decreases the escaping tendency of the individual molecules and results in negative deviation from Raoult's law. For the solutions exhibiting negative deviations, delta H mixing and delta V mixing both are negative. A few more examples of non-ideal solutions exhibiting negative deviations are phenol aniline and chloroform diethyl ether solutions. A detailed look at the two graphs show that there are some large deviations from ideal behavior at specific compositions. These very large deviations from ideality form a special class of mixtures known as azeotropes or constant boiling mixtures. Azeotrope is thus defined as a special class of liquid mixtures that boil at a constant temperature and at a certain composition. At this condition, the mixture behaves as if it was a single component with one constant boiling point. In such cases, it is not possible to separate the individual components of the mixture by fractional distillation. Azeotropic mixtures can be further classified into two categories, minimum boiling mixture and maximum boiling mixture. Let us first discuss the minimum boiling azeotrope mixtures. When the positive deviations from ideality are sufficiently large, the mixture is said to be a minimum boiling azeotrope. As you can see from the graph, the total vapor pressure of the azeotrope is given by the maximum represented as O in the curve. Now, as the vapor pressure is maximum at this point, it gives a minimum boiling azeotropic mixture. At this point, O, the concentration of the vapor phase is the same as the concentration in the liquid phase and is referred to as the azeotropic concentration. Ethanol and water form a minimum boiling azeotrope at 351.15 Kelvin and at a composition of 95.4% ethanol and 4.6% water. Let us now discuss the other type of azeotropic mixtures. The maximum boiling azeotropic mixtures. When the magnitude of negative deviations from ideality is very large, the total pressure curve in such cases passes through a minimum X. As you can see in the diagram, the point X corresponds to the minimum vapor pressure, so this will result in a maximum boiling azeotropic fraction. Nitric acid and water is an example of maximum boiling azeotrope. The azeotropic composition of this mixture at 393.5 Kelvin is 68% HNO3 and 32% water.